Okay, first of all, I love you. I think you are amazing. I think what you're doing is incredibly important. And when you're you. doing that, just know there are millions of people out here cheering you on. Because Thank we you. get it. We get it what they're trying to do. And mm -hmm. here's the thing. I think most Americans get it. Mm -hmm. My question to you is this attack they're doing on law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Which is ironic, since they're supposedly these big back-the-blue party. She says that we get it. We get what they're trying to do, yet doesn't say what that is. Then she accuses these journalists, and I guess Republicans, of an attack on police. Like, what does that even mean? What attack? What is she talking about? This is pretty obviously a bunch of Democrats crafting propaganda to try and deflect the fact that they're the actual party that's anti-police. They want to constantly remind you about police that were hurt on January the 6th. And yes, while that was horrible and evil and anybody that did it should face penalties, the left and the Democrats are responsible for way more police injuries and deaths. Is all of this just making stuff up as they go along and pulling wackos in from the side? sidelines to try to put their hand in the air and depend and pretend like they're credible witnesses. It's like she's not at all interested in getting to the truth. She's only interested in if her side and her story is going to take a negative hit over it. And then she goes on to smear the witnesses. This is all something that if it were happening the other way, the left, the Democrats and the media would be calling it a threat to democracy. And we don't have to speculate about this because we have the receipts. The president with his back up against the wall is saying journalists are dangerous sick enemies of the people. Bill Kristol, an outspoken Trump critic, says the president sounds closer in spirit to Vladimir Putin than America. More and more, I think hate movement is the proper term for what's going on. As the truth is under attack, journalists are under attack. It, it only goes so that one would follow the other. Oh, that was different. So what exactly is Stacey Plinkett doing that's so heroic and amazing? Hey, first of all, I love you. I think you are amazing. I think what you're doing is incredibly important. And when you're Thank doing you. that, just know there are millions of people out here cheering you on. In this case, a Democrat politician turned state propagandist for the party, Claire McCaskill, is obviously referring to Stacey's labeling of multiple journalists who exposed the Twitter files as a, quote, direct threat. Mr. Chairman, I'm not exaggerating when, when I say that you have called before you two witnesses who pose a direct threat to people who oppose them. As the truth is under attack, journalists are under attack. Oh, that was different. It's funny when people have to go through that. No, what's funny is that you apparently think these so-called threats somehow shield you from accountability. Meanwhile, you can say whatever you want about your opponents and whatever threats they get are inconsequential to your freedom of speech to say it. And thank you for calling me professional in that exchange. <laughs> Of course, MAGA world is now saying that, of course, I'm unprofessional, uneducated, etc. Of course you are when you're a black woman going up against uh, someone like Jim Jordan. Of course! Are you kidding me? Now, in addition to these alleged threats that she's using to protect Twitter and the government from accountability, she's also using her skin color. No, you show your uneducation by applying standards to journalists that you yourself don't feel the need to hold yourself to. It's perfectly acceptable for you to lodge these attacks against everybody, call them wackos, call them MAGA world. But if somebody else does that to you or tries to expose you or hold you to account for your power, then you say that they're a a direct threat. This proves that you're the actual direct threat since you're the one in power or you're too stupid to realize that. All right, folks, my little puppy puke can literally can't take any more of this. So I'm going to end it on that. But if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.